they do it on purpose so they can get extra money afterwards. That's the thing. Yeah. You think the game hasn't come out yet, right? So there's no reviews. So if they if they get someone to fucking pay more money before they even know the game's bad or anything, that's how they rope you in. Uh, you, I don't know if you know this, but um, it's like stupid. Like companies that's what, like um, that's what people are saying. Oh, they'll pre-order games. Yeah, no companies like EA and stuff like that. They specifically just send out a, like a, a like a a very small version of it, and and then just release the DLC later. Like they already planned that. Yeah. And, and that's the worst part is that DLC is planned before the game is even released. That should be something that you do after the game yeah. is already. Yeah, no. The, the whole point of the DLC is that it's it's adding to what you already it's, had. It's, it's, it's that, not adding the things that they took out. And, and the worst thing about that is that it's called DLC now. It's not called add-on. Yeah. And I feel like it should be add-on. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like it should feel like that. It should be like no, no. We added this on. We're like no, no. We 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 took the time and effort to fucking continue our game development on this game. Yeah. Not not take a piece out and then put it back in the, for the extra money. Like, cause that's the last DLC that really did that was like Dark Souls is um, uh, with Dark Souls one's DLC. Cause like, Bloodborne and um and Dark Souls three, they both planned DLC. They, they had planned it out. They had planned DLC. But to be fair, like at least those games have some coherent like judgment. Cause it's like they they actually didn't need those parts. Like if you took it out, you wouldn't know the difference. That's that's true. That, that that's true. But still, it's there, like there, the, the thing is, there's some DLC that's like. It's like, like they the take fucking Final Fantasy DLC. Because they the take, ones, like, they take their, their parts of the story, <laughs> which it happens. Yeah, because they take shit out. Yeah, and that's part of the story you don't yeah. know. And then, then they sell it to you later. And, and it's, it's like, like, no, you want to know what happens, though, right? You don't know no, about the shitty story. I, I already paid 60 for that, and now you're making me pay you're an extra, like, 15 or, like, 20 or something. You never, you never got... Are we, are we doing this, by the way? Uh-oh, yeah. I don't know. Because I want to bring this up, actually. Okay. So on DLC. Welcome uh, back. Yeah, welcome back. On the topic of DLCs. So like in, in Final Fantasy XV, I don't know if you know this. Uh, for anyone watching this, this is spoilers on FF15. I'm sorry if you played the game or, or just you don't listen to it right now, okay? So at some point... Just just uh, skip to the number I put on the screen and yeah, then yeah, it'll be spoiled. Yeah, yeah. Bam! Right here. Alright. Whatever. Uh, uh, what's his name? Fucking guy with the glasses. Uh, Ignis. Uh, Ignis? At some point he becomes blind. Yeah, yeah. And becomes like, um... A Cyclops. Basically. I, I I think he becomes temporary blind. I don't know. I forgot what happens. But anyway, that happens, right? And you don't know why. That's part of one of the DLCs. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, you fuck off and do your thing, because you're trying to kill, like, uh, a fucking summon or whatever the fuck. And he comes back and is like, oh yeah, I'm fucked up. Hmm. And that's it. Hmm. That's all you get from that. There's also a part where Gladiolus goes, I need to fuck off so I can do this little mission. You, you guys do your thing. I'll be back soon. Really? Yeah, and that's how they leave it until you get the DLC or whatever. Which obviously I'm not getting because I don't feel I don't really care about that anymore. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Bing! Yeah. Fuck that, right? I know, because that's like th there's a difference between like you deciding to add on to what you already sold and you just taking stuff out. Yeah. That's, that's, from that's, from the retail game and then selling it back to the to your audience later. We, we gotta yeah. reiterate about what we were talking before because like Dark Souls. It, it wasn't as bad for that because if you took out that DLC, it was still a coherent game. It wasn't like it didn't take out from any of the main story or any of that shit. It didn't. It, no. it really felt like it was added on. That's yeah. what I like about Dark Souls. Is our, our, at least from software's like way of dealing with, Dark, with DLC. Yeah. I, I'm still a bit iffy on Dark Souls 3. Still, oh fuck, I forgot to. Dark Souls 3. Oh yeah, because it wasn't. You, you didn't feel it was as long as that. It's fair. Uh, I'll say this much: the, the new DLC is really good. I definitely think it, it added more than, it's a better uh, than, than, the, first than the first DLC. It's yeah. just a continuation of like the it's first It's really DLC. a continuation of it. Like too. literally, you, you go into the area and you like it. You yeah. can't play the second DLC unless you, unless you have the first one. Which is a little like, oh damn, that sucks. Because it's like, uh, me. what happens if you don't? If you, didn't if get you don't, the, have if it, you don't it. want the first DLC. Yeah. I, no, I think there is no way to like play the second DLC. Like say you purchase it. Like, I don't think there's like another way to get to that specific area. Yeah. Hmm. But uh, but but again, like all the DLCs from the other things, I think uh, Demon Souls is the only one that didn't have DLC because it was a really early PS one PS three game. Yeah. PS one game. <laughs> it's a PS one game, guys. Uh, but uh, but yeah, like all the other DLCs are amazing. Like the one DLC is great. I think it's amazing. Uh, it definitely adds to to some other stuff. And it's weird because like when, oh, I, wow. when I was when I was going through it, I still didn't Bing! understand what was happening until I actually read it. All right, like, oh, that makes more sense. So to me, the perfect pinnacle of what DLC should be is actually Dark Souls One's DLC. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I talked about that for like many times. Be because it, it, it's it's a thing where it's like, like sometimes you can go wrong with one mentality to the other because one mentality is like that I completely disagree with. It's like you take out the content that's important to the story. 
and then add that later. Yeah. You know, uh, it's, and, it's, and almost, it makes, it's almost a tease because it, it's like, and it makes the main game feel like incomplete. 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 Yeah. But then there's the other mentality, and uh, I mean the other method where it's like. The story itself feels complete, but the DLC feels like it's not necessary. Like it's bothering you. Like yeah. it's not necessary, and you don't need it. Whereas, yeah. like, uh, Dark Souls DLC is perfect because you don't need it, but you completely... It changes everything if you do have it. Yeah. Like, and that's what's the cool... Oh, wow, what an asshole. I guess. No, the, the, one, of, one of the things I love about Dark Souls 1's DLC also is that it makes you hear on a different story. Yeah, yeah. And in a totally different way, too. It's like... Whatever. Cause you, you get the story of like Artorius or whatever, and you're like, oh yeah, he's in the Abyss Walk or whatever. There's a couple items that tell us little lore stuff. You get his weapon if you want, whatever. His outfit. But then when you get there, and you do what they said, oh yeah, no, he didn't do it. He fucked off and died or whatever the fuck. Yeah. He got poisoned by the Abyss or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, and then when you find out, oh no, I'm the hero. I'm yeah. the unsung hero. I did it. I'm, I'm the one that everyone thought was Artur Artorius. <laughs> I'm the legend in disguise. Yeah. It's, yeah, and that that's like the most badass DLC type of thing ever. Yeah, and the thing is that doesn't take away from the main. It does goal. not. No, no. In fact, it just makes the world seem bigger and more yeah. expansive and yeah. cooler. Yeah, and, and way cooler because, and and it makes Artorias to be less of just like this um badass. Like, no, no, no. Less of like this um like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like this um just sort of like ah fuck I, I'm I'm legend. Iconic yeah, thing? no, no, not even that. It's like it, it changes him from Hero? just. No, no, it doesn't. No, no, that's not what I'm looking. Oh, it changes from from just being like a fucking character you read about, and to see actual an actual person almost. Uh, it, it it changes him from like this perfect like, uh, like character that people just like. Oh, uh, ah, fuck! I know. I worship, know. worship, and like adore yeah. to a tragic Bing. like like tale of like someone's like downfall. Yeah, and, oh, and that's that's really cool, and that and it completely switches everything, and that's really cool. Like I don't know how Bloodborne's DLC works, so I, I can't I, don't I can't it. comment on it. Uh, I want to go off topic just for a second because I, I know we talked about this a little before, but I want to go a bit more into it. What? You remember how like I was telling you how like some of the side quests in Dark Souls One end with like them dying or losing their humanity or the fuck. Yeah. yeah, and like it's funny to think about it. Like yeah, like the the, the way that you help them, it, it doesn't help them. It just makes them get them like oh yeah, I've done my stuff. I've done it. All right, now I, I can so. end my life. No, it's more of like I have no will to go on. Because I did the thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It's like if you spent all your life trying to get to college and you finish it over the fuck, and now you're done with it, you don't know what to do. Yeah. And you just, just and, then, and then you hollow out. You just disappear. <laughs> you hollow out. Yeah, basically, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. And, like, it's weird thinking about it, like, oh, yeah, if you didn't help them, they wouldn't have hollowed out. Because they would have had their will going or whatever fuck. Yeah. They would have still tried. Yeah. They would have a reason. But it's this weird, like, um, weird concept where it's like, you can hollow out either way, where it's like you lose hope, or like you're you're done with what you like accomplished. You completed your mission. Yeah. yeah, so it's like it's fucked up no matter what. Yeah, it's really fucked up no matter what. <laughs> I love how Damien looks like. Yeah, I don't like that. Damien's always like he wants his games to be happy. No, he I don't say that. He no, he he said it before. He he likes his feel good games. Dude, Trails in the Sky is amazing when it comes to feel feel good games. I, I'm pretty sure that's why he loved it because it's a really good game on that. Alright, so, so Damien. Damien's probably listening to this, maybe. Hey, Damien. Fuck you. <laughs> hey, hey, can you tell we're friends? We're all friends? You can tell it, right? No, I hate Damien. Okay. You will be hated him. You, you just stabbed her in the face. At ever first ever since the accident. Yeah, ever since the accident, where you stabbed me in the face. Well, I was in where, the barn. Where he pre-ordered Marvel's Capcom Infinite. Yeah, he, oh, he loved, dude. Yeah, he loves that, that game. That's like the, the deluxe edition. That's like the negative verse where Damien pre-orders a Marvel game. Okay, so that's what got us talking about DLC. So, for anyone that that's watching, if, if you, if you like, play Marvel's Capcom, Marvel vs. Capcom, sorry. Uh, that, no, that's, the, that's the little twinkly thing. Oh. Yeah. Get him. Uh, they, they uh, decided, hey, you know what? If, you, if you get the DLC... You get six characters. Six DLC characters. Six I mean, if you pre-order it, if you pre-order pre it, yeah. you get the six DLC characters plus six alternative costumes and Sigma. And if he's one of the DLC characters, you well. get him as a DLC. Character. But if you don't, you won't get it on the disc. Yeah, and it's like the biggest pre-order. Fuck you, pre-order. It. It's like pre-order if you want to play the other characters. Who I knows what it? I've talked about this before. Maybe one of them is you. You guys can have your own opinion. Talking about everyone else, but I'm like. 
I'm really seeing that Capcom is just fucking up. They really just don't. They don't. They don't care anymore. They're out of touch way too much now. And then, like, they want the money. like at least Konami said, I don't. I, I don't care. Like, that's their point. Like, they admitted it. Yeah, they they literally said, I don't give a shit. Capcom's like, you can still pull these games out. Here, here's Resident Evil. You like Resident Evil Seven, right? Yeah. Here's he, here's some uh, no, Street Fighter. It's, it's a good game. No, it's not bad. It's uh, it's like okay, if I be honest. And, and it's exactly what I wanted too. I wanted the first person like actual survival, like the weird. I wanted the weird. But uh, let's face like, it, Capcom formula. would have never made that game if uh. If it wasn't for Silent Hill. If it wasn't for uh PT, Silent if Pine, yeah, if PT, yeah. or like Outlast, or like games that were really trying to really go heavy on that too. I feel like mostly like Silent Hill. PT. Definitely, definitely. PT was the thing that was like, oh, maybe people might buy it. If it, it was yeah. the, it was and the then, biggest then, thing on survival at the time. You then know? they were like, was, oh, you know, what, we'll just use this, just put Resident Evil on it. And Capcom had a good budget for it, so they definitely made it look really nice. Well, they even put it on a fucking uh, pedestal. I've seen the DLCs for that <laughs> PlayStation, game. The PlayStation VR thing. Yeah. Oh, what'd you say? I've seen the DLCs for like that game. Oh, yeah. They're not... They don't look good. No, they're not. Like, one of them is like a uh, black tank that you're just playing. Wait, yeah, what? it's... Yeah, one of them is literally like you're, you're like... Like, oh, trapped yeah, we'll, black I'll, I'll describe it. So, it's basically, um, because you know how the story goes, right? It's like, uh, the old people. Uh, these yeah. old people are really weird and Welcome fucked up. Welcome to the up, family, son. And, and they've been kidnapping people, right? Yeah. Uh, basically, that happens to one of the guys that's in the story. And he's, like, playing blackjack with a dead guy or some shit. Uh, like, he's playing with, like, another guy who's been kidnapped as well. Yeah, yeah. And, like, if you lose, you die. Yeah. Like, but, no, like, literally, And, and like, the idea is just to meet him in blackjack. That's it. Like, go, get up to 21, and then, yeah. like, whoever loses, they lose a finger, and so on and so on, and then it be gets worse and worse, yeah. till death. Hmm. The other one is, like, most of these are, like, prequel things, like, what happened before the main game. Well, obviously, because you can't something that involves the story. It's too crucial. That's what you're, that's definitely, I, I, I definitely get that point now, so, because it's like, if it's, if it's integral, it's fucked up, but if it's also not integral, it also fucks up, and needs to be, like, an in-between. It has to be this per like that's this why I'm like that's perfect. why I'm always baffled on how good Dark Souls One's DLC is because it's like I just know. that perfect. It changes so much. It's on that, that perspective. perfect amount of yes, this is what it is. Because like I feel like if we did, if we didn't have that game, we would think DLC is always bad, right? Exactly. That's the that's the whole thing. This is the that's yeah. The, yeah. This is the circuit, yeah. Uh, yeah, and it's like, and it's hard to do that, like. I'll even admit, Nier Automata's DLC, it doesn't really look like anything that adds to the story or anything at all. It's just and an add-on. It's, it's just an add-on. and you know, so, To be fair, I, I would take offense if it did take the story like way too much. Because, like, you know, the, the story's perfect the way it is. <laughs> Damn, that headbutt. Like, the story's perfect for that, you know? Yeah. That game's great. That, that game is, like, heavily story-driven. Like, so it's like, you want it to stay as it is. Uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, keep know. that shit tight, bro. Keep it tight. Move, get away. There's, yeah. a, there's a part of me that's always like, I want. Oh, of course, yeah. I just want more new yeah. story from Yoko Taro. Just give me fucking Dark Souls 1 deal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get that too. It's just like, remastered Dark Souls. Because the thing is, if you took it out, then it, then it almost seems like an offense to people that don't want to buy the DLC. Yeah. So it's fine. I, I, I'm okay with this. Why so. did they do a remaster version of Dark Souls 2? Because. Why did they? Oh, no, it wasn't. It was just a. Uh, it was just a. Uh, I guess I guess it was like upframed and shit. But to be I fair, it's a PC version already, so like they just up they just probably released that one. I mean like uh, a different like obviously uh what's it called? Dark different port, but a different like uh mm, Yeah, I don't understand that one that much either. And from what I heard about it, it's not as bad too, with the Scholar of the Sins thing. Really? I, I played a little bit through it. That's the first one I've ever played and I hated it. Yeah, you, yeah, you really didn't like it. I, I I'm was... not gonna lie, the placement's really weird in that, but it, it gets better as it progresses and it adds a lot of characters. If I gotta be honest, there are some costumes that I, I thought were amazing that they added into it. I told you that they legitimately just went, fuck it, let's just put fucking uh, the berserk wolf thing yeah, yeah, on, yeah. on one of the guys, on one of the mess. Yeah, yeah. And I thought that was really cool. I was like, yeah, why not? And my character looked awesome doing that, with that. And then there's like the DLC that adds like uh, another character that, that's always talked about. Like, you know, wow, you almost got hit by that. It's fine though, uh, it's invincible. Yeah, you're invincible when you do that. But yeah, it's pretty cool. But yeah, DLCs. Uh, yeah, it's not a lot of DLCs that are amazing, that's the thing. Um, no, I, I honestly she, can't think yeah. of any other games, like, different franchises that much. Oh, that DLC is amazing. She's most likely up there. Oh, never mind. Uh, you know, Fallout and, you know, Elder Scrolls. Those those DLCs are actually add a shit ton. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like what? Uh, you know how big Skyrim is? Yeah. Think of a second Skyrim in Skyrim. 
Oh shit, really? Yeah. Cause like like in Skyrim, there's like three DLCs. Three. Three. One adds <laughs> uh, one adds a skill tree to becoming a vampire and werewolf. Oh okay okay, I know that. And and there's areas in the game which just it adds to it. Uh, it's also adding to another faction, I think, like a whole different faction. Uh, there's Wait. another there's another one that's literally uh like you go to a different place like it's an I island you go to. And then I think the third one the third one's actually really shit. It's just making your own house. And you can get an orphan. It's basically make your own family thing. Oh, okay. Which I felt that that was definitely added really poorly because I thought they were like, "Hey, my Minecraft's selling really well. Why not add something that's like Just sort of like that? that? Make yeah. your own house. Have your, a family. Make your own home and have a family. Yeah. Basically that. Fuck your family. Fuck your family. Uh, fuck your wife to have a family. You can make her give you money. You guys remember and Fable? Food. Yeah. Yeah, Fable. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I played the first Fable and I hated it. I, I I also played the H the HD remix thing of it. The uh, remake was, of uh, did, the first I one. I forgot there was one. It was one. the worst thing I've ever played. God damn it! I played two and three, and I liked two. I really no, loved I, two. No, I was about to say two. I I, I remember. Uh, you, <laughs> I mentioned the mad times on the show, huh. but back in middle school, uh, uh, another Chris that I knew, yeah, he brought over Fable one, and I played it, and I was like, I hate this game. This game was really bad. And then I uh, and but then for some reason I bought Fable too because I was just like, hey, why not? <laughs> and I liked it. I actually really liked that Dude, game. Dude, it's so good. Yeah, it was and, pretty good. And then you go to fucking like Fable three. And I never played Fable three because I just heard bad things about it, so Fable, I just got away from it. The thing is, I'll tell you this much: Fable three is better than one. Because okay. one is just bad. Yeah. Like the one is literally, I played it and I was like, what the fuck is this? This one is really is bad. bad game, yeah. Why do people give this like so much hype? Because people always say the DLC in that is amazing and shit. Like there's really, DLC really good. In that? Yeah, there's DLC in that. There's die. like the lost episode, I think it's called or some the shit. The lost episodes. Oh, yeah. Sure. Basically, yeah. Well, the lost chapters or something like that. And, uh, and, and 3 is like okay in that premise. And the story plot of it like is sort of nice too. Uh, do you want to know what happens in it? Uh, in what, 3? Yeah, in 3 uh, you're like a prince or some shit and your brother like takes the throne or something like that. And he, I think what happens oh, is shit. he throws you away or some shit or something like that. He makes you fend for yourself and you're trying to go back then. to get the like crown ship or something like that but basically half of the game is getting to it and beating him right yeah and then the other half is actually becoming a kin king and trying to like rescue oh my god <laughs> damn and trying to rescue like the fucking like township yeah because there's like a weird like evil thing that you didn't know about was coming and that's why he was like becoming bad and shit brother, wait brother. is this from fable one or three fable three. Oh, fable yeah. three so okay. I, I like the premise of that it's like no you're not finished with the game now you actually gotta be king and figure out if you're gonna actually be an asshole so you can get more supplies and shit mm -hmm. or become like a cool guy but then you won't be able to fight off the army mm. which that premise is nice but it's really poorly executed and it's a horrible game uh two is amazing though i really liked it and that's why i wanted to get three and one because it's like oh i want more of this didn't they make another fable game but yes. it wasn't even like, and it, an it, actual it killed game. them it actually killed them that is the game that fucking stopped making them uh, <laughs> making, making the money because it, it wasn't an actual like like adventure. It was, it was a connect game. It was a connect game. That's what yeah. it was. Yes. And, oh my god. And they kept talking about how oh it's not a rail shooter. It's not a rail shooter. You know what, you know what that means, right? Yeah. Like on, on like it just, just goes a, forward yeah, and yeah. you just shoot. Yeah. yeah and that's you just it. Shoot. And and it's bullshit. That is actually a rail. It is a rail shooter. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking ridiculous. That game is horrible. And that game basically caused them to go out of business. Let's and I'm play. glad. <laughs> Let's play Dragon Ball for the connect. The thing is, if you, you honestly real super science don't connect with your games, like if you're making games just to shit out money. Like why? Wasn't there like a fighting game for like the Connect? Uh, I, probably. I think there was. Probably. Oh, there was a Fighter Within. Oh, that game, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's one of the things that I'm glad I'm, I, I feel like I, I yeah, grew out of. You know, you know the, the 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 gag of like having like motion sensor shit, all that stuff. Like it, it's not that's not fun anymore to look at. It's not. It's not. I remember before as a kid when you saw the Wii stuff, you're like, oh, I want that shit. That's the, that's the future. That's the future. Yeah, that's the future. And now I'm fuck like, you. and I'm like, fuck that. I look at that, and all I see is like trouble. I see all that trouble of playing the game. I, yeah. see, I see all that effort of having to the Wii break sucks. break your arms to play those games. That's that's how you the first time I played the Wii when I had it. I, I I got my arms so fucking sore I couldn't move them like the day afterwards. Oh yeah. Damn. Me, me, me and my dad would play like fucking uh, the boxing game. We real fucking, quick, we, we just did shit. We sports. We fucking waved our arms around uh, so much. Yeah. Real quick, I fucking hate this boss. This boss is. That's not the boss. I know, I know. No, you're beating him. You're beating him. I mean, it doesn't matter. They'll just keep spawning. Yeah, I know. But like, where is she? You just run around. They, they're fucking slow. Yeah, the whole idea is that they're invisible. But when you get close to them, they'll show. 
Remember when the Wii was the hottest selling console ever? It was, yeah. I remember people were like, oh, there you go. You can probably fuck her in the butt, man. Yeah, you can do that. Damn. I only got the Wii just to play console. Damn. Now that's commitment right there. Well, no, me, me was like, oh, I want Smash Brothers. I want the games that come out for this. Yeah, I was like, I want Smash Brothers and I want to buy Zelda and... See, I didn't know what other games came out for the Wii. I'm just like, oh. uh, there were some good ones. I'm not gonna lie. There, like, there were there's some of the good ones came out when it was dying. Yeah, that's, like, that's the worst thing about late. it. It was too late. No one was gonna buy this. Yeah, yeah, again, because I'm like, again, like before, I was like, that's that's the roughest thing about. I'm sorry, Christian. That's that's the roughest thing about that too, because it's like, you want to play the good games, but by the time that the, the good games come out and stuff, like late stuff, you already had your Xbox 360, and you weren't playing that anymore. That's literally my story of why I don't play my Wii. And like went afterwards, after like having it for a year, my brother got an Xbox 360, and I was like, okay, I guess I'll play this now. Yeah, I know. Oh boy. Yeah. What were you gonna say, Christian? Huh? Oh, like I said, like, well, first of all, the Wii was a gift, cause like I know my parents like heard me like talking about like the console game for like the Wii. Wow. I'm like, oh my gosh, they're coming out with a new game. I played the one for like Xbox and PlayStation Two. And you love them. Well, I, mean, I want to feel like Godzilla. I want his his camera. Uh, I mean, his, his camera. What's it? I was gonna say Gamma Ray, but what's the fucking call? Yeah, Atomic Breath. Yeah, oh, yeah. I think it's called Atomic Breath. Why? Because I, I think of him going. <sighs> it's this fucking ghastly, <laughs> gross. Yeah, yeah. Because it's a fucking. That's what that's called. The, the fucking. What was it called? Atomic what? Breath. Atomic breath. It's just his breath. <gasps> no, have it like a fucking beam. Call it something beam. No. Atomic beam? Yeah, that's fucking cool sounding! No, atomic breath is better because it means he's just breathing. Exactly. No, no, no. I, I, I get the idea of it making sense of, like, that's how he does it. But, like, it has to have a cool name. You can't have such a cool character like that what, and have it have a lame ability. What about the atomic name. fart? Exactly. The atomic fart. Ooh. Don't call it atomic fart. Call it atomic ass beam or something. <laughs> the atomic shit. <laughs> yeah! When you take a massive shit and it's full of radioactivity. <laughs> Damn, that's after like a burrito night at my house. <laughs> take Man, okay then. A radioactive yeah. shit. <laughs> that's so that's how you get like these mutant. It killed millions like, of people. Rats and stuff. 